So in today's video, it's about how to create a multiband delay effect. Um, we need probably some kind of synthesizer as an input. So here I take the polymer. That's okay so far. Then we need an FX grid, of course. Inside FX grid, we want to implement some filters. So we use, let's say, a cell and key filter. Uh, band pass eight maybe you can define it you can also go two or four 12 tb per octave but i start here with eight um i disable the pre chord the pitch pre chord and we want to connect to the input and the output of course and we want to implement a delay in our case here mod delay we switch this to uh, milliseconds timing and we implement some macros. The first one here is for the resonance, of course. We can change the resonance with all, yeah, on all bandpass filters at the same time. We also implement a macro for the feedback here. And maybe a macro for the filter cutoff here or the delay cutoff. This is nice. We need a um, pitch input here. So we can define the root pitch. This goes straight into the cell key filter. And because we double clicked on this here and snapped this to C3, we can pull this all the way up. And now we can define it filter cutoff frequency uh, with this input. And then in between that, we use a ratio. And for the first filter here, we use 1 1, of course, which is just, you know, the root key or the root uh, frequency. And what else do we need? So we can change the feedback here. We can change the resonance. Um, maybe you can also define here the filter if you want to. Let's say go to this, pull this up. This goes to HP1, BP6, BP4, BP2. So minus, minus three goes all the way from pp8 to pp2 let's say this it's, it's pp2 yeah okay let's go to minus four this is lp8 okay so three is enough minus minus um, minus three okay so now that we have this uh we can start to duplicate this so that's the second one here uh, we also need an output. So here I'm just a bit lazy. I don't choose a mixer and then go in one output. I just use multiple outputs here because it's easier to clone. Um, it's it's the same thing. This goes to three, four, five, six, and I go up to ten. Uh, you can go up to maybe 20 if you want to, but you also have, you have to keep in mind the CPU usage also goes up. Ten. Okay, nice. So we can define here the root pitch and all the ratios here, then accordingly change the frequency. Um, and we can change the resonance on multiple bandpass filters. In fact, on all of them. Okay. So now that we have this, we have already implemented basically a multi-band delay effect. Uh, the only problem now is that to change delay timings on each of these bands here, we have to go to each of these delays and change it, which is okay. Maybe use a peak limiter here at the end. So it kind of works, but the interface to these delay timings here is a bit bad, in my opinion. So it's not fun to play around with the delay timings. So um, this is why I also say that the grid needs some kind of interface stuff. Um, because you can build all these nice devices pretty easily, but the interface is always a problem. So here to change the delay timings of all of these devices better or more easily, 
I go for a step uh, steps mod here. When the steps mod goes to step count is 10 because we have 10 bandpass filters here. And what I want to do is basically I want to change the delay timing with this uh, with this interface. So I want to say here yeah, this is the first first delay, right? And I want to change delay timing from zero to maximum here, right? So I can paint in here the delay timings for all, um, yeah, delays at the same time. So the interface is better. I just draw in stuff and then I have set basically all um, delays differently. So how do we do this? Pretty easy actually. So, oh, it's not that hard. Um, we use a value here and we disable the pre chord so it stops playing. We use this fake face input here so we can change the delay or the, the play head inside of the pattern. And what we do is we use readout also here to, just to show you this what exactly happens. So here the value outputs some, some kind of value. So zero is the first bar, right? And then we step here to 0 0.1, which is the first bar. 0 0.2, then the third bar begins. And the way it basically works is um, because we have exactly 10 bars here and the value or the face value is between 0 and 1, you just divide 1 by 10. So you have 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and so on for each bar. Um, so we use here a bit of logic and say when the phase signal is at zero, um, let's go for a constant here. We just can leave this empty here, but for the sake of having it, yeah, so it looks consistent, I just take here a constant input. Um, we use a sample and hold, and we hold the value, the output here of the mod of the mod uh the steps mod um so we hold this here and we go into uh, modulator out of course and then we duplicate this and say here yeah, the second bar is actually 0 0.1 and the third bar is 0 0.2 so when we change the value and step through this and we switch it to the second bar we only update basically the sample and hold because the value is exactly like 0 0.1 and then we fire out here a gate and the gate holds then the value until it gets a different value and a different hold. Um, so this way we can get these values here for different points in this pattern. Um, 0 0.3 4 you can see it's a bit cumbersome to implement this um, but the grid is not really made for this stuff you can do it but it's not really optimized for this kind of stuff it's more like for instruments you want to build on the fly and this is more like here creating a special effect um, I think that's okay so far so now we need to map this here to each delay. Yeah. So this is the first one here. Second one. Just need one more. This goes to 0 0.99 or 1, but in this case here, yeah, just stick with 0 0.99. So now you can see when I skip here or scan through this um, step mod pattern here, we update all the modulation values here. So I can draw in something different, nothing happens, but then I have to update here basically each value. You can see. It changes, it changes. Um, so instead of using this manual knob here and scanning through that, I'm just using a clock and use 
bit higher frequency here, maybe five or six, something like this. So now I just draw in stuff and you can see everything updates here on the left side, on the right side. So now everything is at zero. You can see every uh, delay time is at zero. This is max. Everything is on max here. And you can draw in whatever you want and have different delay timings. So this is my go-to setup for this kind of stuff when I need better uh, interfaces for multiple values and I just want to use my drawing abilities here to draw in different values. Okay, uh, but it takes a lot of CPU power actually to use here multiple of these uh, modules and wires and so on. It's, yeah, like I said, we need something for interfaces. Uh, okay, so now we can do this. Let's see how it sounds. Let's change the root pitch here. It's almost like a granular effect, in my opinion. So this is without. And this is with a delay. Yeah, and then you can start to bring here in the, the dry signal. And you may, maybe can introduce your convolution reverb in the pre-fx box. So before you go into these um, bandpass filters here. This could be a nice idea to actually modulate this, huh? Let's use a macro here. Um, let's say 64, 68. Let's go for 64. Then we'll use a step mod here. Step mod gets randomized values. And then we change the root pitch here. Maybe a bit faster. Then we can hit play. Yeah, it's actually not that hard to implement. Um, it's just a bit of setup, like I showed you here. Um, you can also use multiple of these then, um, and say um, maybe in parallel or in serial. So you just duplicate this here, and then you start in a, with a different pitch setting here. And then you combine this and that. What you also can do is to uh, pitch quantize here the inputs, right? You then just use a um, pitch quantize module here and then dial in your specific notes you want to allow for certain bandpass filters. Um, you have to do this sadly for all these bandpass filters. So you have to use one pitch quantize here, right here, and so on. Uh, but that's that's how it is. At least it's possible to do. So um, you can then have a more like musical fitting context for all these partials. I don't know if it if if it makes if it makes sense, but you can try it out. I just want to give you some inspiration here what you can try out with this. Um, yeah. So this is basically my idea for um, a multiband delay with a nice interface for the delay timings. 
Um, you can also duplicate this here and maybe introduce a pen knob here, right, for each partial, and then say here yeah, this one's with right, this this one's left, and so on. So you do the same interface here again just for these pen knobs and then you can also change basically the panning for each partial separately with this drawing knob here uh drawing a step mode and yeah get some different uh results or nice effects from that right um i think that's it for this video i put the patch in the description below it's completely free download it have some fun and maybe you learn something new if you like the video leave a like Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.